Greetings and welcome to Eek and to Dataset. I am here with Catherine of Sky. Hello. This is the lovely person. <laughs> Thank How you. are you, Catherine? I'm doing great. I'm very, very excited to start our fourth public server. Um, it just keeps getting more and more fun each iteration. I agree. Um, the planning that has gone into this one has been substantial. Indeed. Um, over 100 hours have been spent by more than 10 people uh, working on this, and we're really proud and, and excited to, to show you things. Um, first of all, we are here in front of the Welcome Center. You should spawn in this, this space. Uh, if you notice carefully, there are glass walls, so you can't actually get out. You can sort of jump up and bang against the walls, but you're not going anywhere. You have to go through the Welcome Center. Um, and in there, you will find a... Um, you'll find the rules to the server out here and please read the rules even if you've played with us before please read them uh, and they're pinned at the top of the eco channel um, because we've changed a lot of things and um, and you'll find some differences um, so the welcome center has uh, basic items that you can buy once you get your fuzzy cats um, and this is just a good place to start out with stuff sky coins, not sky coins. Fuzzy cats. oh i'm sorry yes we've changed the currency to sky coins now um, so that's, uh, that's going to be in place. Shall we move on to the bank? Uh, there is also a sign shop, but oh, it's not open shop. yet. Okay. That will be open so when we open the server. When you spawn, you will, uh, oh yeah, the city is called the Janaran Sanctuary since planet of data said that would seem appropriate. Um, when you spawn, you will have your regular voucher, uh, you can come to the Bank of Sky over here, where uh, you can exchange this voucher and you will get 1,000 uh, sky, sky Coins. I haven't changed the name of the voucher, so it seems <laughs> to be still say. a Fuzzy Cat voucher, but oh well. We're trading in Fuzzy Cats for, for Sky Coins nowadays. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> so um, this bank building is quite modern, of course. Uh, downstairs uh, is the yes. vault. This is where deeds for roads are stored, and we have the mint down here, and treasury where the taxes are set. And it is, it is of course, off limits. Mm -hmm. So the door here will be closed. You can you can stand in the stairway here and look inside. But yeah, this is an exclusive all. sneak peek into our bank. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> all right, so we'd like to tell you the procedure for claiming an area. Um, I've got my mini map up. As you can see, the eco mod team has done amazing, amazing work um, claiming all of these different properties. So each of the squares here is a property and around it is an easement um, where just so you know where you're allowed to build and not. And between that, there are sort of these parklands where you can do some farming if you like, but not mining. Mining is absolutely not allowed in the city uh, because of lag issues. So, um, shall we go over to a plot and claim it? Yes. That right. sounds like an excellent idea. I'm uh, going to go down the main road, which doesn't look very road-like at the moment, but hopefully that will be changed by the road builders <laughs> soon. I should certainly hope so. <laughs> so, when you want to claim a property, you will go to your chosen property. I'm going to go for this one, I believe. So, I'm going to just head for that one. And there is a chest in the middle of the property. Now, uh, these chests are not open to the public. So when you find your plot that you want to uh, claim, write something in chat saying um, moderator uh, claim or something like, please help me claim a, a plot. And the moderator will um, uh, go into the chest and make it public for you. Now it's public for me because I'm an admin. You will take the deed from the plot into your inventory and then you can right click it and then say claim deed. Okay, and now it's owned by me. So this is this is my, my thing. And I've done the same thing on my screen, so. And that's how you claim a deed. Otherwise, if we had all the chests public, then we'd, we'd have a, a very interesting situation on our hands. You scared um, the bison. 
Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, dear. Well, they're going to be a lot more scared by the uh, the amount of people who are going to live in this city. I think there are, what, 64 plots made in the city? Um, and last time on, Something the like that, yes. on the first day, we had 40 people claim stuff. So it looks big, but I'm thinking a lot of this will be filled up. Um, so when you spawn in, you will not have claim markers. You, you will either need to live in the city, or if you want to claim mining or logging or farming territory, um, those are in different areas. Like the farming, there's going to be here, uh, and then mining is up here, and then also south of the city as well. Go to one of those districts, and you can see them on online by pressing G and going to the web browser and looking where the districts are. Um, and then once you find a spot, uh, tell a moderator and they will zap to you and give you some claim markers so you can set up a nice operation. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> um, and if you um, are in the city and you decide you want a country house at some point, maybe this is your workshop or whatever, you can use the claim markers you get from skill books uh, and skill scrolls to um, to build a house somewhere else. So, uh, but this is just for the initial start of the server. Um, the idea behind the server is to have local production. So we've uh, we're gonna let we've. Uh, given everybody a sign on spawn it will appear in your inventory and what you should do is put that on the road or facing the road um, so that people will show what what they're making uh, I'm gonna go up I think Alma Lana has claimed one right up here let's see aha here we go so Alma Lana's place basic crafting woodworking um, store and welcome center. So uh, she has claimed her plot and she's saying, okay, we're doing basic crafting and woodworking. So if you are into that, maybe you should move, you know, down here or over there so that you can have a separate set of customers just to have local shopping and, and shorter travel distances. This is to kind of spread out the crafting and buying and selling and stuff. Yes. Is there anything else we want to say? Um... Yeah, you mentioned already that it's very important to read the rules. Uh, it is very important that you read, that you read the rules for this specific server uh, iteration. Um, if you set up a shop, be aware of the fact that um, you are only allowed and per permitted to set up buy and sell orders in your store for items that you actually need and can produce. So if you at some point in the game, uh, let's say that I am now going to be a cook and a baker, um, and I decide to drop those professions. I must immediately, when dropping the professions, also remove any items in my stores that is related to those professions. Um, I will then have possibly have a backlog of items, but that is how we have to do this to limit the lag. Um, the economy viewer is very laggy, but the um, Eco Dev team from Strange Loop Games have said that it is a priority issue that they are fixing this week. So hopefully it will be fixed in the upcoming patch. That is what we're hoping. Mm -hmm. And then we may be able to ease down on that rule, uh, unless, of course, that requires a, a new world. Um, but we will let you know if that changes. But again, it's very important that you read, read the rules because there are some pretty serious changes to how this server uh, works uh, compared to the previous servers because our goal is to ensure that the server runs for more than just 10 days. We're aiming for four weeks, 28 to 30 days instead of the regular uh, 10 to 12 days that we have been running so far. And for us to be able to do that, we have to, to enforce certain rules that, well, they may be a bit restrictive, but I hope that you all uh, are in favor of these rules since it means that you get more time to build your magnificent creations and we have bathrooms inspections to do them and so <laughs> forth. So we are very much looking forward to. Oh yes, and we're really looking forward to seeing what magnificent buildings will spring up in the city. Um, so do you reckon we should let people in? We should. All right, so join us on the eco server as soon as you have um, have watched this video.
Thank you so very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you there. Bye. See you soon.